I'm a 20-year-old cishet man from Aberdeen, and I've never had a romantic or sexual relationship. I think it's interesting to hear women talk about what they find attractive and sexually satisfying. Because when I'm in the right sort of place personally for a relationship, I'd like to be able to do it uh-huh, thoroughly. And because the uh-huh was in there. And because I often find accounts of what works surprising. E.g., I hadn't been under the impression that doing things to breasts, backs, ears, etc. would do much for the people involved. I get that a lot of what would work for women must be highly specific to individuals, but could you try and cover the essentials, if that's possible? What a lovely fucking question. Again, you absolute babe. Like, you're 20 years old and you're interested in such questions. Yeah, because you, you think you're, Yeah, because you think you're lacking expertise. You know that, like, 99% of people, well, like, men, dudes, I don't know, or people, to be fair, fucking yeah. people, don't do that. They don't do that. They're not interested in how, pleasing, how to please other people. They only want to please themselves, all of that stuff. So you absolute fucking babe, like, thank you. Yeah, and also, like, it, it, it seems like from your list of things that you were surprised at, like, breasts and ears and stuff that, like, I don't know, either you've watched our show or you've recently talked yeah, to some women yeah, or something yeah. that have made you, made you surprised in a really good way that, yeah, it's not just all about, all about the dick, like, which is really or cool. Or pussy or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... Right, should we? By the way, is my makeup looking okay? Yes. Which the rest? Yes. Perfection. Sorry. So, um, first of oh. all, watch our videos, uh, breast, breast tips, boobs, a handful of considerations. I think this implies that they basically, that's because what, I think we spoke about... I think so too, yeah, 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 yeah. that's, but... Yes. Okay. Let's do this. The essentials. The essentials, right. So, I think we've already covered, you know, how do you even get, you know, how do you get a hookup, all of that stuff, even if you're going Tinder away, good pictures, always invest in those, you know, sorry, it's just a thing. Anyways, but then you're there, you're there. Yeah, you're in the bedroom. You're now in the bedroom, it's all gonna happen. Take your socks off first. Yeah? No, you like to make man in socks. Not socks, but I will say something to be said about, but maybe that's really is what we left, where like, a certain amount of clothes still on, something, something. Mm. Maybe yeah. Either. Also, okay. One of my pet peeves is when I've worn like really nice underwear, like matching bra and pants, which I do very fucking rarely because I hardly ever wear bras. And the person I'm with just like rips off all my clothes at once, and I'm like, bitch. I like. <laughs> they have like a. <laughs> yeah, and so sometimes I'm like, stop, stop, and I like, like take my top off and take my trousers off, but leave my underwear on because, ta da. <laughs> So, so again, I think this is again this is one of the reasons why we do the show together is because we have very very different things. Mm. So a lot of the time what we'll be talking about right now will probably be very yes. very uh, different for us. So yeah, I'll putting be putting my cards on the table quickly, and I think something that I've already mentioned in different shows. To me, certainly, 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 erogenic uh, zones. I think I believe that's how they're called. Is erogenous? It, erogenous mm. is uh, lower back. Crazy about that. Uh, Ears, but only if it's not wet. So no tongue in the ear? No tongue in the ear, hmm. no. But like biting? Yeah, but basically as long as it's not wet, mm-hmm. and definitely like fine with like uh, fingers, all of that stuff. Uh, but this is bad, this is... Do you feel? I'm literally, but yeah, like I'm, I'm kind of just touching all of those. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, neck, and I think neck really is, is, so with neck you need to be careful, right? Because some people are really not, not, uh, not okay with being uh, uh, choked. Mm. And that's absolutely, I, I, I think for me, I also Check have before to be, you choke. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so it can be a triggering, not in a good sense, uh, um, I guess, space for, for a person. So you should definitely um, yeah, look into that. And then nipples, crazy about nipples. Yeah, yeah. Um, buttocks? 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 Buttocks, yeah. Really? Like what? Everything. Really? Everything. Hmm. Like everything. So I don't have that because, you know, I... So good foreplay, basically, mm-hmm. what we're trying to establish right yeah. now is that good foreplay is extremely important for whatever is going to happen later on, you know? Set up, you know, the, you know, whether that's moody lighting or whatnot, but, um... But don't you, if it's like a fast hookup, don't go too cheesy. No, like, no, like, no. Like, no, candles and, and like, roses. And fucking no. Dido in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like a, a certain touch. Both of the Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, never mind. Uh, but even just the one candle will do, because that's enough lighting for just to see the silhouette. And right? very flattering lighting. Yes. And honestly, I don't know, like, if you're, like, straight up into it, that's fantastic, and that's it, like, you just get on with it. But something to be said about delaying, mm. right? Like, you know, when I first started watching porn, back in the day, I used to watch massage porn, 
because I really like the idea of like the full body massage that then becomes sexual and I found that very like erotic they do like every part of their body is being touched yeah. and stroked yes. and it gets increasingly towards the like the best the sex wounds, yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah 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 uh get plastic sheets they're quite cheap on eBay plastic sheets so you put it uh between your sheets and your mattress doesn't it make it sweaty why would you get plastic sheets? It's not. They're they're somehow. They they're not plastic. They're somehow they're somehow breathable, but they don't put the, they don't get the oil. Basically, they don't get the oil. Yeah, on the right. Because my like lube is like it's just staining all my sheets That's like, with it. oil patches, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, it's yeah, expensive yeah. lube, and it's just ruining my sheets. <laughs> yeah. So no, no. I think something that it it goes through sheets and such. So water. Okay, water based lube. There's yeah. this. Uh, there's this one that's a bit pricey, but uh, Durex, I think they released this really good water based one that's like. I think it says like organic aloe vera on it, whatever, I'm not really sure, but that one's like on point. Um, I mean, I'm sure to be fair, there's some better stuff out there. But yeah, like honestly, just insisting and be like, hey, I just kind of want to give you a massage is always, it's always yeah. lovely. Like that will definitely, like there's no one that's literally going to be like, no. Nah. Well, unless you're already like fucking, that, that's yeah. just this way. Yeah, everyone loves a massage. Massages are going to become erotic so easily, like even when you don't want them to, like I've had many a, like, experience and when I got a massage from someone else I'm like inappropriately turned on it's the whole thing. Well you see I don't let anyone do it on me because precisely because Well I, I've only had like a massage by a professional twice and like both times I was like you're <laughs> so not my type and yeah I am like yeah. 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 Yeah, so that uh, that never. But obviously, again, the first day asking to massage someone can or cannot be. No, no, that's already when you're in the bedroom, I imagine. Yeah. Yes. Um, God, this is so, it's just like, it's going so graphic so quickly, I feel like, but I mean... It's that question, though. It is that sort of question. So yeah, essentials. So yeah, like, good good amount of foreplay never never hurts, and yeah, be, being attentive, a lot, a, a lot of lube. People like different types of uh, pressure as well, like some people like like skimming motion, but other people like like cuts or, or like bites. It's that's very, very subjective, and also different places, like, and also different times in the experience, whether... Like you like fingernails right down your back, or other times you might want like a feathery motion. Yeah, like, yeah. I would refrain from getting uh, a lot of toys straight away as such because so I have this whole thing where I don't like the aesthetics of the of the fetishes that we have right now. Basically, the whole like leather latex thing. Like that's I I don't I don't find it. I, I don't find it attractive at all. Um, yeah, something to be said about a good good USB rechargeable sex toy, of course, something quite basic, but like, I think that can be very scary for a straight away, if you're just like, introducing these things straight away. I'm um, so, no, 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 no. maybe you have a different opinion. No, I just have an anecdote about my first time with someone, um, when I went back to their flat and they opened a box and showed me their like, straight sex toy collection. Straight oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, you see, that would freak me out. Uh, yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a way to introduce that as well. As that. Yeah. Yeah, there are ways to, to show that you're competent without having to show all these toys. But also, you know? if you're competent, you shouldn't have to use toys. Like, toys, are, toys should be an addition, oh, an yeah, addition, addition to sure. a sexual scenario, not a replacement for one, like... Yeah. Um, yeah, so touch, I think, is very important. And, like, yeah, basically, I, I think a lot of the time we see that people really imagine sex as just being, like... I don't know, like French kissing and then like booby touching and like bum touching and then like, you know, like oh, 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 yeah. shitty sex. And also like booby just... touching and bum touching mean like a grab or like a yeah. thing. Or, like, it's, like I don't want to feel my, my, my tits squeeze. That's what's painful. Like, yeah. Something like that, but I'm not into that. Like it's more about like it's, caressing. Yeah, like... sensuality. And, and again, yeah. this is very subjective. I think so a lot, of, totally a lot of people that... I know that how well the one in particular that has like rejected me and that because I was I guess a bit too vanilla for him. Uh, you know he was all about like I don't know fucking like quite violent stuff straight away as such. But I think I think people who are like that tend to be quite vocal about it quite early on. Like with women in particular who are into like into more like. Uh, what? Like, it's not extreme, but like, in risque, risque or intense or like, uh, potentially painful scenarios mm -hmm. are generally more used to telling that because it's not a given, which is a good thing that it's not a given, like. Yeah. When it comes to pain, I, I like a scalpel. There See, that's a random one. I would, I would, that she would need to say that to me because I would not just like randomly bring out a scalpel in the bedroom. Do not bring out a scalpel in the bedroom. This is really, yeah, do not do that. But yeah, that's the thing. That's like many years and don't worry. Yeah. Uh, and also like one of the things that you can't, okay, your first lay with someone is probably not going to be that great. 
Like, it can be, but it cannot be. But one of the nice things when you just have sex is to be lying in bed with that person, saying what you like, saying what you'd like more of, saying, like, what you're into, like, trying, and that can be a really, a really fun and playful discussion. It's to be like, oh, I really liked it when you did this. Like, maybe next time you can do this. Well, like, I don't know. It's you don't dirty them. talk. I'm a, I, guess well, it's not I find it quite innocent. Like, it's a little bit to me of what you said earlier about the whole, like, um, mm, can, I, can I do this or can I do mm. that? You know, a lot of the time I just I prefer just sensual silence. I don't know. Really? Oh, I see. Okay. But then again, it's a different thing. Like, I quite enjoy in, like, also in a not... Sexual or scenario, like, or like sounds, not like, silence, like sounds like, you know, yeah. breathing and all that. But like, we for example have had chats about what we want to do in bed in a pub and stuff like that, like just like randomly. Yeah, like, that comes hard. up. Like, it's like, yeah, and it's not the thing and you get kind of excited, like, yeah. and so like, the first time doesn't have to be the time that you manage to tick all the boxes because you won't even if you try, unless you're like fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, if you do, then call me. But like, yeah. But like, yeah, talking after you've had sex on to someone, it's often like, like if you want to continue both having sex with each other, like, it's a lot more chill, and you can be like, yeah, you know, I again prolong it a bit, a little bit, maybe perhaps some touch through the clothes mm. first, you know, or just like just I don't know, um, yeah, you know, maybe only exposing one particular bit, not taking yes. all of your clothes off straight away, yes. you know, but exposing just one particular yeah. bit. Um, from whichever of the ones that we've listed and like giving a lot of attention to that, you know? So basically a yeah, build up, build up, build up. Yeah. Um, oh, I just thought I lost it. Shit. Um, yeah, no, but, um, yeah, so really doesn't play to just, but yeah, I, I, again, as we said, like a lot of the time, basically it takes a quite a special person for the first time to, to be good straight away. A lot of the time, first times are just, aren't just great, aren't that great. Um, mm-hmm. but if they are good, it is usually because because that has been like a prolonged. And also, don't get too drunk. First of all, oh, yeah. like, I mean, some of the like, like I can't come in and drink full stop. Same, like, same, same. Absolutely. I think similar for, mm-hmm. for people with penises as well. Like yeah. I mean, um, yeah, yeah. Well, like there've been things that like I've dreamed about someone for months and months and months, and then like we eventually uh, got to the point, and like we just wore off our faces, yeah. and then just like it was fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Although yeah. you just, like dreamed about that person for so long. And, no, like, it's just a hot mess. Also. It's really hard not to do this because I'm also guilty of this, but don't necessarily assume that sex ends when the person with the penis has come. Oh, yeah. Like, there's still a lot more yeah. you can do and play around Need with. Need a seat. And... Make them come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah make them come. Well, like, not always. always. Not always, obviously. But also, but like, always. see if someone's satisfied because, like, often, like, I am kind of spent, like, <laughs> exhausted. I'm not that fit by the time the person with the penis has come. Uh, and so I'm normally actually like, that was nice, I'm ready to like, leave off, but like, yeah, there are other things you can do and like, staying close with that person if they want that, or like, following their signals post-coital is also really important as well, because like, I've also been with people where like, the second like, the orgasm has happened, like, it's been like, get up and leave, and not that they haven't told me to, but it's been that feeling of get up and leave, put your clothes on and go, which is, can leave you feeling quite used. Yeah. So like, being a responsible person and having sex, also is transcends the experience of having sex itself yeah. like if you want to be a good lover you have got to do the before and after care yeah set up you know good smells in the room set mm. up the temperature like not too hot and not too cold uh, and then also um i was thinking wait wait what Sorry, I no, no 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 oh, I, I can drop it oh, i'll drop my top. okay well, one of, the, one of the things that, like, uh, one of the people I've been with does or did do on a regular when I was with them that I think is a really good thing is that, like, after we'd hooked up, they recommended that we got lunch the next day. Which, even though it w- was at that time, we were then together for several years, but, like, even though it was at that time just to hook up, it makes you feel like, okay, this person doesn't want to just, like, pack up and leave my life. They want to have lunch with me. And even if that person says, ah, oh, I don't feel like it, it's a nice gesture to show that, to make someone not feel used, because, like, particularly because we're talking about sleeping with women, like, there is a lot of like a, a shitload of complicated societal and personal issues that goes into women having one night stands and or feeling like they're having one night stands or feeling like a slut or yeah. this or this or this like and just that act of saying like hey would you like to get lunch tomorrow was like really good for me and making it not feel like it was just a thing and they got what they wanted and they left yeah so and it's yeah. not like that person will even necessarily agree on that you know but mm. it's just like a, it's a nice gesture for sure yeah it's a nice gesture like it was very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, it, it was. It meant a lot at the time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because I was a lot younger and had a lot more, like, imbued ideas of, like, 
how one should yeah. be, you know. Yeah. Also be quite creative about the space that you're in, you know, there's not just like on oh, the bed. Some of the hottest best sex I've had was Ooh. like on the floor, even though there is like a bed next to yeah. us, you know, that sort of stuff. Like so being creative about the space. But also don't insist on it. Don't be like, okay, now we're like I don't know, yeah. doing this and do or like standing up, you know, fucking standing up. Although because like, for me, at five foot, like that's just uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah, it's so like cute. Like if she's like rolling on her side, maybe she wants to be turned around. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so don't yeah make it, make sure that it's not just quite static in terms of like positioning etc. Yeah, right. So just thinking about the services that you have mm-hmm. around you, all of that. Stuff. And yeah, like different positions do different things, obviously, but also like. Particularly, like, I've, I'm part of this really, really interesting um, sex forum on Facebook called Oops, That's My Kink, that I keep mentioning, but it's really good. But, like, for example, there was a conversation re- recently about how a lot of women only... Okay, so a lot of women don't come from penetrative sex, and you should know that. But how a lot of the women that do come from penetrative sex only come if they're on top. And a, a lot of guys don't really get that much out of the woman being on top, because it's not as much of an up-and-down motion, it's a back-and-forth motion. So, like, also be aware of what might make her, like... Yeah, she might not come for pension sex, but it doesn't mean she doesn't want to do it. Oh yeah, I hope like, we don't even need to say this, right? Like yeah. the fact that defo just for of sex, like for a lot of women, that's fucking yeah. all. Like so. I can't come for pension sex. Like doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Fucking love it, but it won't let me come. Yeah, yeah, very, very party. I think it's happened. just, just, just with it. Maybe three, four times in my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah, it's not a given, and be aware of that. And, and some people yeah. have maybe, and then, and then again, there is a glorification of that. Like there are plenty of women that probably be like, "Fuck, I get, I, mean, mm. I come from penetrative sex all the time," so that makes us look more complicated and or like harder, harder work. But again, we'd like to think that by talking about this, we can like somehow, you know, change those. Yeah, change and I'm sorry if you consider like going down on your girlfriend as being harder work. You shouldn't have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, and, you know, we also have to deal with, like, oh, do sex and the city phrase, like, teeth placement and gag reflex and, and, and suction, all that stuff. That's real. They don't, like, Samantha says, they don't call it a blowjob for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, hopefully there are a few, a few tips yeah, Watch her signals, like, she'll probably let you know if she's been doing it. Yeah. Um, and if she won't ask... Like, but yeah, there's nothing worse. We say I, I can only just imagine the sort of stereotype of like drunken humping, like when no one really enjoys it. It's just a bit dry and like very very static or something. Like there is a place for it as well. But basically, sex can be just so much more magnificent mm-hmm. than enjoyable. Like even as a one night stand, basically. Yeah. Like oh and, yeah, 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 and and um if you can like open your eyes to that like and again like now now i'm using i think jamila jamila i forget her name but basically it goes like look women talk you know mm-hmm. you're gonna be known as like someone that makes someone come on the first time especially like, oh, yeah. in aberdeen a small town man like you'll get you'll get some action <laughs> yeah but also another thing which is like a bit contradictory is like don't try and pressure a woman to come if she can't because like I, like, I, I don't come from pressure sex, but I do from, like, clitoral stimulation, but only in, like, certain circumstances and with, like, a particular vibe, and it's, like, it's kind of more of a thought exercise than it is a bodily thing for me, personally, and so, like, it's also fine if a woman doesn't come as long as she's Absolutely. okay with that. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's also, by the way... You'll be like, yeah, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, yeah. I'm gonna get that, and she's Man, like, no, like, the precious, no. like, orgasm when I've had, like, a few drinks or whatever is, like... So long. Yeah, yeah, it's only gonna make it last. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And also, like, obviously, the guy doesn't always have to come either. Just FYI. Yeah. Should be a given, but isn't always. Yeah. 